Well, what do we have here? Uh, some uh, beet eggs, some scallions, and some uh, some beef. So uh, they're already plenty hot. So I was gonna make some potatoes this morning and uh, make hash puppies, hash browns, potatoes, something, but I just. Uh, just uh, realized uh, I could just make something quick with this beef here. Yeah. So uh, that's what I'll be doing. So uh, I just usually use the same uh, roast beef I've been using. So it's just some roast beef that I sliced and uh, <clears throat> I have some uh, scallions from my own garden now that's the last bit of it having the nights getting cold have the oil a little hotter than i should but it should work out just fine so let's see here Just browning it some. I like to even think, and to make my Philly steak cheese out of this too. But uh, it's just enough to cook it so you touch it with the flavor and have it fine. It will uh, be much better frying. I thought of making a rolled omelette where I just make the omelette and then uh, add the ingredients rolled. I mean, I could still do it on this, but uh, I just want to have it all in one to make more like uh, more like a pizza in a way. I guess that will be the closest kind of think of it. it's still an omelette, but it's gonna be more like pizza. Just uh, put the layer down, put the put the uh, put the in the egg on top of the ingredients, and then uh, I'll let them cook and brown a little bit, and uh, have the onions, scallions, just about change a little bit of color. So that usually caramelizes, it changes the starch into sugar, it gives it a good flavor, obviously, not the sugar there, but you know, <laughs> but uh, it gives it a good flavor, and top of that too, anyway, frying anything, just uh, it changes the, the molecular structure of it. Drinking his water over here. But it's probably ready to go out. I'm gonna, I'm gonna let him out. I'm gonna go out, Max. And then I'll uh, add the eggs on there. And uh, I'll add the egg on there. I'll leave the cracked a bit. I can come right back in. Uh, yeah, it's just about the right color. Most of the two ones you hear the popping sound, you know, that the water's drying out of it. Sometimes it's more drying there, and the water content out. So then, uh, there you see. And I had, uh, I had lowered the heat. So now is the time to raise the heat up. And uh, just wait until it uh, starts to uh, bubble up. And then uh, I'll let it just uh, form the crust around. 
and then lower the temperature and then let it uh, cook you can usually see the the egg you know when it's done because it's uh, it'll be pretty visible in there and the egg is done don't even need to roll it on it but usually for me when I cook I usually don't go out with a set of plan or a, so I just kind of have an idea of what I want to make and then I build around it or go with it as it goes because sometimes you might want to roll it over then the egg might decide that I want to be rolled over and just decide to scramble it all together and you know sometimes I could just remove the ingredients like earlier put the egg in put the, the ingredients on the half part fold it over. You know, it's just a, <coughs> it's just a preference. But for now, it's uh, this is just uh, about how I just wanted it. Let me pull the heat a bit. So I'll, uh, it'll cook already there. The corners, the corners are already started uh, getting cooked through like should. So this actually will be pretty good roll, but I wanted to make it more like a, like a pizza style. So actually covering it would have been good because then you get the top to cook quicker too. But then that would uh, hold a lot of moisture in. And I want to just uh, reduce and take out as much as much moisture as possible. And uh, somehow the bodies today are making all sort of noise. We got a uh, African gray parrot, and then you got the cockatiel, speckled cockatiel. Uh, they can smell food too, hear food then. Leslie Patrick will chat about how good it is and all that. Now maybe could go see Bell Patrick here in the meantime while this is going. I'll be right back. And here's Patrick. Say hello Patrick. You been a good boy? Say hello. You want a treat? You want a grape? Yeah, he enjoys chats quite a bit when he gets to, but he has to be in the mood for it. Um, yeah. You see the school bus? See the square outside? And it's snow. Yeah, he even knows his phone number. What's your phone number? Oh, well, yeah, good thing. Don't say your phone number. <laughs> Sometimes they don't think about these things. So. <laughs> on the sound of that, let's go check on the omelet. Because he's not in a chatty mood yet, but you can hear the speckle there going. What are you doing, Goji? Yeah. You're doing good. Oh, yeah. Mm, thank you for telling me all about it. Yeah. I know. Yeah, all right. 
<laughs> there. Right, this height's going so far. It's very close to being done. Now I'll see if I can flip it. Oh, I tried one handed and try to do it on here though. So, just gotta grab it on and flip it. And hallelujah! <laughs> so now I just gotta turn it off. And let it uh, cook a little bit with the residual heat on the other side. Just get it fry nice. And then uh, put it on a plate. Cut it up like a pizza too. And uh, actually uh, sprinkle some cheese on the top. Actually let me do that. So that's the results then. The cheese is melting in as we speak. And uh, so plate it on a, on a bed of uh, spinach, and uh, that should be breakfast. So that's that. <laughs> Hope you enjoyed it, and I know it smells really good. So. Uh, Hope you have a very good day and uh, be blessed later.